What's going on, you guys? Welcome back to the channel, Sneakers and Chris. I'm back here with another shoe review for you guys here today. We have the Air Jordan One Woman Exclusive Sea Foam. I'm gonna give you guys a 360 before starting this video. Quick 360 before going into the full detail. All right, pause. So, guys, as always, I just want to say, guys, thank you guys for stopping by. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel, just uh, Sneakers and Chris. And I am Chris. I do reviews. Um, try to provide a lot of content for you guys about sneaker content so just stay tuned in if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to like it up um comment what you think about the shoe what you think about the video rate the shoe um give your honest opinion about the shoe and if you cop you know i'm always happy if you guys did went for it and cop you know it makes me makes me very happy and aside from that if you guys want to follow me on instagram you guys can follow me at chris mi underscore if you guys want to follow me on tiktok you guys can follow me at sneakers and chris on tiktok and i also have a sneaker page i just started so if you guys are uh, on instagram it's called sneakers and chris chris and my underscore is my personal but chris, um sneakers and chris is a sneaker page you guys can always follow that if you guys always want to see sneaker content i'll try my best to upload as much sneaker content on that page but after that let's get straight into this video man so starting with the box as we always do so you know it's a woman's jordan one so we're gonna get our kind of reverse box which is in red you typically get your regular Jordan 1s in black and red and the Swiss and Nike sign is in red but with the women's we usually get the reverse the whole box in red and everything else in black you know I, I love the box with the reverse I ain't gonna lie to you. I, I like it better than the regular box you know it's how it looks it's how under it look and the label you know, if you've been watching my videos a lot, you already know the reason why I show all these information, just in case you guys are buying at a second party, like a reseller, um, just so you guys can know y'all information, you know, so y'all end up buying like a fake pair, you know, y'all know how it looks, how a real pair look and whatever. And then as you open it inside, this is how it looks, and the tape wrapping, and the shoe. Oh, I forgot to read the label. I'll read the label for you guys in case you guys couldn't see in the video. The label reads, Women's Air Jordan 1 High OG. Um, the code is CD CD 04610002. Size USA um eight and a half, Euro 40, UK six, and retail was 170, 170 plus tax. That's around 181, depending on your area. Then you also have a little um scanning code, which is pretty nice detail. They've been putting a lot on the shoe boxes. All right, so now that we're done with the box, let's get straight into the shoe. Honestly, it hasn't been much releases from the from july and starting on august kind of been kind of dry a little and we kind of have a banger we do we do got some more releases um for saturday and friday so you got the um travis with fragment to um friday and you got the poland so saturday so the, so i'm gonna try my best to get my hands on those and i'll always try to provide another video for you guys you know that's the goal to always um grab as many shoes as i could get just to provide a nice video for you guys but let's get straight into this one. So this one released on Thursday, August 12. Um, I actually got this pair at Kiff, but um, it dropped um, at 10 a.m. in the morning at um, a Nike, not Nike. Um, um, yeah, sneakers, sneakers. And then sneakers also had a sneakers pass. I know for the East region they had a sneakers pass yesterday, and I took an L on the sneakers pass. I didn't get the sneaker pass, but luckily, Kiff posted these. I was in training, basketball training on Miami Beach, and Kiff is Miami Beach. So I was training after training. I saw, um my trainer actually saw that they posted these and it was like, let's just go, let's just go and get it. And I was like, it'll be a good video for you guys just in case you guys wanted to see these. But aside from that, um these like I said were releasing a woman exclude um woman woman sizes. So this is just for women's no GS, just for women's no men's. Um so let's get straight into the color and the detailing of the shoe. So you have you have honestly. The material is, is pretty nice. It's about the same material. Like where the white is at, it's about the same material as the regular typical Jordan 1. It's very smooth, a smooth white material. You have your midsole also in white. And you have that um seafoam dura buck material of on the overlay all around. It's pretty nice. You know, it's like a nice, not really a mint green, but a lighter, lighter, lighter suede. Not suede, not suede. A lighter, a lighter mint green. Not really mint like not really bright mint but like a lighter mint green um and then you have some extra laces white laces you have the the same color laces as the shoe and what i like the most is the laces on this shoe so honestly if i was to keep a pair like if i had my size i would have just rocked with this because just with the hits of browns brown 
that's fire that's fire and then you got the tip and silver now that's hard that's hard and i've been eyeing these shoes down look at it i've been eyeing these shoes down for the longest you know um the midsole is the same color as the upper that that um that that green colorway you have the swoosh also that same color both side and you have your air jordan wing right here and white you know like but like i was saying um i've been eyeing this shoe for like a month and i'm like these are kind of hard i'm not gonna lie to you you know there it's like the love and hate between which one is better poland's or these obviously the poland is kind of better but i'm now i'm seeing these in person i'm kind of leaning on to these because i'm like i was gonna go for the Pol poland's for personal but i was like the four is coming out the four is yellow i'm like i don't really want two type of yellow shoes so i was like i'd rather just wait for fours you know but i am still gonna try to get the polins so i can do a nice review for you guys but i'm more on this i'm more in this shoe now Th this looks very nice and the ladies got an, another nice a nice release for them you know props to nike for always trying their best to do nice releases for the ladies um the tongue have the tongue in white and you have your nike tag on top and that green um colorway and then you have the nike air in white and then you have the back same thing make the brightness and then you have the um the writing in white you know and so now let's go and and so the and so is in that same um colorway that green colorway um and with the nike air and white and that's pretty much it with the detailing on the shoe um honestly i thought these was gonna do better uh, i got to kiff way probably like 30 minutes after this they posted that they had them and there was no line surprisingly and there was a lot of sizes left and i was shocked you know i thought people would be kept out for these but no i'm surprised you know but they are pretty nice you know so it's worth it i ain't gonna lie it's worth it so if you guys really want these try to see if you any stores in your area still got them you know because i don't feel like a lot of people went out well in, in my area not a lot of people went out for them so try to see if you could get out retail but if you do miss it at if you can't get out retail no more it's sold out i'll definitely say go for it especially for the ladies go for it this is one for the books it's very nice clean i do see these doing very well later on in the future so if you want it take advantage of the resale price right now because it's not too bad i i can see a good price to buy these at is 230 225 to 250 good price so try to try to negotiate the best you can to get a good price around that range and try to get these shoes and let me know if you got them let me know if you got it i'll be very happy ladies and the fellas let me know if you got them this is a shoe for both gender but especially for the ladies because that's what they made it for it's amazing so congrats to y'all but definitely worth it guys don't sleep on this this is i feel like a lot of people slept on it so don't sleep on it guys because later on in a year i'll say a year and a half price is gonna be even higher probably most likely so take advantage you guys want it now don't wait till later But now, before any of this video, all, as always, guys, let's rate this shoe. Make sure you rate it down in the comments below. I do want to know what you guys think on this shoe. So, honestly, I'm going to give this a solid 8. Like I said, it's not too bad. It's very nice. It's clean. And I do feel like this is a shoe for the fall. And it could be a shoe for the winter, you know? Not really a shoe for the summer. I wouldn't say the summer. But fall and the winter, this shoe going to be a killer. And I know, once TikTok blow this shoe up, it's going to be it's gonna be bad, man. Because if y'all want to take advantage right now of buying this, don't let TikTok blow this shoe up and prices are high and y'all can't buy if y'all want. So take advantage now, please. And let me know what you guys think below with y'all rating. I'm giving this a nice solid eight. But that's pretty much it. Oh, if you're here for sizing, sizing wise, um, I will say for ones, you could go true to size. Or if not true to size, you could you could go half size down. I wear, I usually wear a 10, but sometimes I could grab a nine and a half. Nine and a half and 10 will be fine for me in Jordan ones, low or high, even though, even though this is a woman exclusive, um, woman sizing, I'll still, I still could get my, I'll just convert my size. So I wear, if I wear a 10, I'll try to go for, I'll go for, what's a 10? A 11, 11 and a half. So 11, 11 and a half woman will be a 10 men. So convert your size, fellas, if you guys want these and try to get it. It's still true to size in my opinion. And if you can't, you can go down half um so like i said i was i'm a 10 in men and i usually go down nine and a half if i can't get um a 10 
you know but yeah that's in my opinion that's how it fits for me but guys i hope you guys enjoy this video and learn a lot and i hope if you guys didn't like this you guys kind of like this even more like i said if you guys want it try to get it if you can't get it at re a re if you can get it at retail make sure to get it at retail but if you can't get it at retail take advantage of the price right now because the price is pretty good and guys i wish you guys the best of luck um see you guys in the next one